Well, good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. We're in the middle of it, and we need fuel, don't we? And the most important fuel we need is not the food we put in our bodies. That's important, but it's the food we put into our souls from God's Word. So, let's think about some things today. There's a section of Scripture during the Sermon on the Mount when Jesus talked about some things that are so profound, we can understand them to a certain level, and yet implementing this in our life is one of the highest challenges that any of us, I think, will face. And I want to talk about some of these concepts today. And yes, in the, in the context of trusting God, um, to maybe help us get over the hurdle, at least, and you know, <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna have this mindset all the time, you know. But but at least we can begin to understand better in our lives how that um, we're supposed to be thinking about the right things, uh, the things that God wants us to think about, instead of thinking about ourselves. In the King James, it starts out like this: Take no thought. Take no thought. For your life basically well i'm going to be reading actually out of the amplified bible here and this is in matthew the sixth chapter and starting in the 25th verse okay so let me read a few of these verses and we'll talk about it matthew chapter 6 and verse 25 therefore i tell you this is jesus speaking okay therefore i tell you Stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life. What you shall eat or what you shall drink or about your body, what you shall put on, is not life greater in quality than food? Is not life uh, and the body, excuse me, far above and more excellent than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. And yet your heavenly Father keeps feeding them. Are you not much more than they? And who of you, by worrying... And being anxious can add one unit of measure, a cubit, <laughs> to his stature or to the span of his life. Why should you be anxious about clothes? Consider the lilies of the field and learn thoroughly how they grow and neither toil or spin, and yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his magnificence, his excellence and dignity and grace, was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and green, and tomorrow is tossed into the furnace, will he not much more surely clothe you? O ye of little faith. Now stop right there for, the, for a moment. Take no thought for your life. Does that mean we're not supposed to care? Well, I don't, I, I don't think, you know, obviously we are here, we are alive, we've been put here for a purpose, we should care about our lives. But it's our life, and this is the message of Christ here, the, our lives are not the food we put in our bellies, the clothes that we put on our back, the houses that we are sheltered by. That's not your life. And that's not your concern. He said, don't be anxious and worried constantly in a state of turmoil about those things there are more important things to think about and we're going to read one of the final thoughts here in a minute so think about this what does worry do here's some thoughts okay 
Worry is assuming responsibility for something that God never intended you to have. If you're worrying about something, you have taken on God's responsibility. And guess what? You're not good enough. If you are worrying about things that God has says, listen, that's my job, that worry will never go away. I am astounded at the level of anxiety that is in especially our younger generation in 2021. And it seems to just be getting worse. Of course, the pandemic has just really, really magnified this. And I think that we, we need to, to begin to learn how that we need to take our eyes off what we are anxious about, what we are worrying about, and put them someplace else. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second, okay? So worry, you're assuming a responsibility that's God's responsibility. You've crossed over the line there. And as long as you stay across that line, you'll never have what you really want in life, whether you know how to verbalize it or not. And I think what you really want is joy, peace, yes, even happiness that can only come from trusting God. Worry, in a practical sense, means you've forgotten the goodness of God. Think about it. God is good. All the time, right? And when we're worrying, we've forgotten that God is good. What did Jesus say? Listen, God knows how to take care of you. He's your heavenly father. And if he takes care of the animals, the birds, and the, the plants or whatever, as your father, he's not their father. He's their creator, obviously. But you have a personal relationship. He is your father. Isn't he going to take care of you? Hmm. And so, what do we need to do? We need to ask Jesus to be our shepherd every single day and just follow his leadership. We need to give Jesus first place in our lives and in every area of our life. And then we need to live every day, one day at a time. Can't change the past, have no power over the future. What did Jesus say? How many of you, by worrying, can get taller. <laughs> How many of you, by worrying, can lengthen your lifespan? Those things are in God's control. And if God's plan is for me to leave this earth today or tomorrow, your will be done. If it is not his plan for that to happen, he will keep me safe. That doesn't mean I may not, you know, that I won't experience hardships and challenges. All these things can be part of God's plan. But all the while, he, as he has his purpose in my life, he will keep me in perfect peace is really what he tells us. So listen to what Jesus said in the end here. He said, therefore, it's verse 31. Do not worry and be anxious, saying, uh, what are we going to eat? What are we going to have to drink? Where are we going? What are we going to wear? Don't do those things. It's for the Gentiles or the heathen people wish for and crave and diligently seek all these things. But your heavenly Father knows well that you, have, uh, need, uh, that you need them all. So don't be thinking like them. Instead, think this way. Seek, aim at, strive after first all of his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right. And then all these things taken together will be given you besides. Replace worry and anxiety with simply seeking to serve God. Seeking to further your relationship with him.
You do that, you daily commit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and trust in Him, and the worries and anxieties go down, and the, the peace goes up, and you find yourself trusting Him, which is how He wants you to live. Hope this helps. We'll see you Friday.